shirts tucked in. One of the few brands that I call a, a designer drift brand. I say designer because the products are kind of pointless or unnecessary, but man, are they cool. <laughs> they make a whole range of stuff, like from bag shirts, stickers, anything like that. They just slap their logo on it. But today we are talking about gloves. The main purpose of driving gloves is for fire protection, mostly. There's Other than that, there's not too much of a point to them. These specific gloves aren't really gonna help much with fire protection, but they do make a version that are FIA certified, but they're just expensive and they only make one color. Some people still wear driving gloves, even if they're not into competition pro stuff or anything like that, they still like wearing driving gloves. I'm one of those people and one of the main reasons why I wear gloves is because currently in my car, I have a wood grain wheel. And I don't know if you've ever tried to let a wood grain wheel slide through your hands whenever you're sweaty. <laughs> it gets really sticky and it doesn't slide as well, if that makes sense. So gloves help with that. These were not sent to me. These are mine personally, and these are my buddies. I just wanted to show you because before I bought these gloves, I wanted to know some things about them and make sure of a few different things like sizing and whatnot before I did. So I'm sure somebody else also is wondering a couple of things. So here we have three different versions. These are, I think, version one or twos. So very old, you could tell they are used. Uh, these are version threes and these are version fours. These are no longer being sold. These are the only ones you can get. Uh, I don't know current stock, but I'm assuming he's probably going to be coming out with an even newer version, probably around Christmas, I would assume. And like I said, I just want to give you guys some information about these just in case if you were to come across a pair. So we're gonna start off with just material. Uh, with the V1 twos, uh, these are a very soft cloth and pretty stretchy, pretty comfy, but they're pretty hot as well. And as you can tell, they wear down, they can get sun bleached pretty easily, and they get really dirty really fast. And then these two are essentially the same outside material. These are also a little bit stretchy, but they breathe really well. They feel really nice to the hands. They don't feel like a cotton as much. Uh, I very much prefer this material than the older versions. And the biggest problem I have with driving gloves is the palm side of them. So before I started using these to drive in, I did need a pair of gloves with the wood wheel and I searched everywhere trying to find the right type of gloves for me. And around that time is when my buddy bought these. I tried them on and as soon as I felt how just thick this palm material is, which is leather on these ones. As soon as I felt how thick that is and the thickness in between the fingers, it just doesn't feel like I have much control. So I knew these were not right for me. And I was pretty bummed because these were really cool back when they first came out. What I did instead was I wore women's mechanics gloves. <laughs> these are essentially no padding, just cloth, uh, really thin in the fingers. And I bought women's gloves because they fit very tight. That's the worst part about having thicker gloves or ones that don't fit as tight. I have had them <laughs> come off my hands while driving before from grabbing onto them accidentally while rotating the wheel. So switch to the female mechanics gloves and these actually work great. I, If you're on a budget, you could buy these at O'Reilly's or anywhere else and I love these as driving gloves. But I knew I wanted to try out the newer versions when they came out because I knew that this old like kind of 90s style, like the old Eurus gloves and stuff like that just weren't for me because of just the thickness of them. I saw these and I thought I needed to get, at least give them a try. I initially did not actually buy the V3s first, I bought the V4s. And I was really skeptic on buying these because one of my biggest issues is actually my hand size. I have very odd hands. Uh, they're like eight inches long, but three and a half inches wide. So almost any glove is not long enough or is not tight enough for me. So I was really skeptic. I actually ended up DMing Casey, asking about sizing, and he recommended the larges were perfect for me. And they were. These things fit fantastic. So these two are large. These are mediums. These almost fit. And that's why I was kind of concerned about going up to large because I thought they just might be a little too much. But as soon as I got these in and put them on, I knew that they were perfect. With the bottom padding, I knew that the leather was not it. And when I saw these came out and they weren't leather on the bottom, definitely caught my interest. But luckily I waited and didn't get any until the version fours because with the V3s, 
This is more of a suede material, but it still has a padding right where the wheel sits the most. And I like being able to have vibration feel through my steering wheel. So I knew this would kind of suck. And on the V3s as well, the fingers are stitched on the outside. So there's a little lip right here so you can kind of feel it whenever you're wiggling your fingers around. But with the V4s, he perfected this. There is no padding at all. The stitching is still on the outside, but is kind of moved in a little further and very, very small. So you don't really feel it kind of flicking through your fingers nearly as much. And he added an extra little piece right here on the pointer finger because I think that's one of the main places that you'll end up wearing through or just getting holes in it, as well as here in the middle, right where your finger sits. Uh, that will wear through pretty quickly as well. That has an extra little piece sewn in there. So I ended up buying the V4s. They ended up being exactly what I needed. And the only reason why I have the V3s is because in his email campaign, he had a buy whatever, get whatever, and ended up getting a free pair of gloves with my order. And one of the last things is color. He has always knocked it out of the park when it came to colors. I always thought they looked super sick. And these are actually the three colors that I have wanted throughout all of the versions. I always loved the teal with the white with the first ones. When these came out, I just thought this is just a really sick glove to wear for a Halloween event or something like that. But as soon as the pinks came out and the V4s, I knew these were perfect because these essentially match my car. So obviously that had to be the choice for me. So if you are looking for gloves, if you find the V1 or 2s, uh, used. Uh, I don't recommend buying them unless you just want them as a shelf piece. Would not buy. V3s are okay. I would pick these up secondhand if you needed a pair of gloves. These are going to be awesome for more of the wintertime events since they are a little thicker. They'll keep your hands pretty warm. But if you're buying new, these gloves are fantastic. I do believe they are in stock right now. I don't know what colors are sizing. If you have longer hands, these will work out perfect for you. The thickness you can change with the Velcro here at the bottom. I really don't have to keep mine too tight and it fits around my hand pretty perfectly. I don't have to worry about accidentally grabbing the finger and pulling it off. I don't notice these are too hot. Uh, during summertime events, normally I don't put them on until I'm up next, and as soon as I pull off track, these are the first things that come off. But I do recommend using driving gloves unless you're using just leather steering wheels. If you're using wood or suede, 100% would use gloves, especially with suede because uh, the oils in your hands are what tears up the suede and kind of knots it up and destroys it. So I would definitely wear gloves for that. And also just because they look cool as shit, anything he does always end up being cool. And then anytime you order anything from him, he sends you cool little postcards, like just cool shit to hang around your house. So I have not seen any other gloves that have caught my interest that I think would work right for me. So until I can find something else, these are going to be my choice, and I could definitely recommend the V4s for anybody looking for some. But that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching.